Welcome and thank you for being here. Um, this is a very independent festival that I'm doing, um, you know, with all my heart and uh, like trying to, you know, um, make it work um, because it's something that I'm passionate about. Um, and uh, I don't know, I, I don't want to talk so much about me, but um, I'm Juliana, I am from Brazil, I live in Mexico City, uh, I'm between uh, Mexico, Brazil, and also the United States, um, especially New York, and uh, the idea of this came uh, many years ago, uh, when I was in a women's festival, I said, okay, I want to do something, uh, with my own company and that's what I'm, you know, uh, that's the project that I'm building and uh, the idea is to promote the art and the work of independent artists all over the world. Uh, for now, we don't have like any sponsorships, any support, so it's just me like, you know, trying to put this into the world and, you know, raising the voices. Uh, and this festival is a great opportunity for us to, you know, just hear and, you know, share our thoughts and opinions. And, um, yeah, like, the idea is for you to get to know each other, promote your work in um, different spaces and get new audiences, right? Um, so that's uh, very briefly what I'm... Uh, trying to accomplish here and uh, I'm so grateful to have many amazing women here together and just to start um, I want you to to you know do the talking um, hi there um, it's a uh, daddy Natalia okay very nice uh, we, we were just gonna start uh, presenting ourselves and um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, first round, just get to know you, like your name, where you're from, um, where do you live, and uh, what is that you do? Like, what is your main art expression, and how do you like to express yourself? Uh, anyone? Okay, so my name is Chloe. You're going to hear my accent is very strong because I'm from France. I'm a photographer and also a film producer, but I'm based in Montreal right now. So um, I don't know what else I could say. Um, I, I've been always working in visual arts since so far I can remember. Um, and yes, I always tried to use this as you were explaining for your side also to, you know, try to improve like communication, try to work with other women, try to denounce many things that are very important for me. That's why right now I'm also working on my own features. This also about this. So yeah, I was very, very grateful um, that you selected my work. It's really, really um, amazing for me to be able to talk with you about it. And yeah, very exciting. So thank you very much, Juliana. It's very cool. Yeah, go for it. Amelia? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. my name is Amelia. I am a visual artist. I am Brazilian. Uh, I I I live I live on France French uh, Avignon. Uh, I I speak in French, speaking French, French, but voilà, but in Portuguese, but voilà, I will try to speak in English also. If you have any problems, you can tell me. Je peux, oh, essayer, oui. je peux essayer de traduire pour toi. La, la tête, c'est complètement une confusion. <rire> voilà. Mais I'm, I work in uh, visual, uh, video, uh, intervention urbaine, uh, installation, et voilà. Je fais une performance uh, et qui s'appelle. I work in the perform plus better uh, performance. Uh, et les performances uh, suppliques, et voilà. Et elle est, it's a un uh, work. Et, et voilà. 
I am working with um, performing, pardon, que je parle maintenant. I am working with performance, installations, videos, photography. My terms are have uh, are springs, uh, especially pens, uh, pens, uh, heavy from slavery. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to talk more about the arts uh, later. Just now, oh. we're just presenting ourselves, just warming up a little bit. Okay, uh, so Sue or Natalia, um, which one wants to? Uh, you're muted. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm unmuted. Uh, I'm from Moscow. I'm a digital artist. Uh, I love Paris in France. <laughs> uh, though I don't speak French at all. I tried, <laughs> but I failed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I prefer English. Uh, I'm doing what, what I'm doing, I call it transformational science art. So, uh, because I was a culturologist and scientist and I researched cultural brands for a long time, and I started to draw in my youth, but then we got perestroika and art wasn't a uh, way to earn money. <laughs> so I moved to uh, creative decisions in business and then to internet projects and defended PhD in computer animation. So I, I made a scientific uh, career and then returned back to art, uh, saying that uh, I'm quite I'm old enough to be happy <laughs> and to focus just on happiness, and it is very feminine uh, way of thinking, uh, because my uh, grandmom died when she was ninety. So I have about 35 years <laughs> of very nice <laughs> creative life in front of me. Yes, and I really enjoy this Silver Age approach uh, that you shouldn't die when you're 50. <laughs> <laughs> you should start a new circle of your life. Yes, and I enjoy this period and I'm really I'm, I'm, I'm really glad because uh, the every next project I'm doing and every next uh, competition or exhibition I'm joining is in the new country. So I am moving digitally, virtually all over the globe and enjoy the globe. <laughs> <laughs> and look for friends. <laughs> and I think Thanks. that's... <laughs> yeah, I think this is all... Um about this, right, to, uh, about making connections, um, because I think, you know, after the times that we went, uh, pandemic and, you know, everything that's happening, uh, I think we, we tend to get more isolated. And for me, uh, it was like this type of connections, like virtual meetings were, you know, like a thing that kind of saved me, you know? from loneliness. Um, so yeah, it's kind of weird because at the same time that I, you know, I'm a performing artist, so I, I like live interactions, but at the same time, like this allowed me like a new world that I, I, I've never even imagined. So uh, it's very nice to, you know, connect with everyone, like um, different places, different time zones, like, um, it's it's so enriching, I think, for for our own like perspectives of life and and women, you know, like how we get together. Um, so yeah, um, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Um, I don't know if Sue is gonna be able to share. I'm not quite understanding. I think uh, they're just recording the meeting. But anyways, uh, Sue, if you want to appear sometime, um, mm -hmm. you're welcome. So now something. I guess she she's unable to uh, show her face, but she wrote something. And if if you can read that, because maybe in yeah, the chat we can read I that. Think it's her assistant or something. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Let's um, let's just deal with it. Um, not like a huge like tech person so <laughs> um, let's see um 
but um, I wanted to, so the work I selected, of course, like it was um, very hard because it's just an online thing. And uh, I know that, you know, um, many of you are like used to like having, you know, the whole exhibition. And so, uh, and this is kind of just, uh, you know, one seed. Because uh, I, I made like this video that is going to premiere uh, tomorrow, uh, showing all the works, you know, just, you know, the name and the work and, you know, with your names and so people can search. Um, but it's just to um, the idea of having this conversation is exactly so you can present it and, and say, like, what was the process of that work? Like, how how can people find you, you know, how can people like buy your work or find your pieces, you know, um, that's the idea. So I just wanted to ask like, a, you know, about the theme of the festival because all of your artworks, like um, for example, um, you know, we have photography with Chloe, we have the, um, I'm sorry, this, how did you say, Natalia? Was it um, it's digital? Call transformational science art. What yeah. I've said to you, it is artificial intelligence art. Yeah. It is made by means of artificial intelligence. Exactly. And it, yeah, it, it is really cool way of making art now, and I enjoy it very much. During the last year, it it became very very advanced, and I recommend you to have uh, yes all joy possible from that tool. It yeah, is the tool very, I, I want to know more about it. Yeah. Um, and Amelia, it's uh, the performance. So um, it's very diverse. So I, I just wanted to hear from uh, all of you. Uh, by the way, Chloe, the, the work that I selected that's going to be in the video, it's the news, which is, you know, the this face of this woman. I don't want to talk about it. I want you to talk about it. Uh, it's so powerful. And I wanted to know, like, what was the process of getting to that, um, you know, for all of you, like, um, what was the process? Like, what, what was that, like, ruminating idea? Uh, what were you thinking? Like, what was the inspiration? Like, the process, you know, to get to that, um, to that final um, result. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I see the picture you're talking about. Uh, this picture was... Um... The person on the picture is my mother and at the time I didn't, I never like, uh, you know, I really do a lot of street photography so nothing was planned, I just picked. Um, but this was the, a time where she learned very bad news and I felt a bit confused with this picture because on the one hand I found it very strong but on the other hand it's very intimate but I felt like you could see everything on the face like the pain and so she was, she is a survivor, she is the strongest woman I ever met. Hi, mom. So the process was, you know, it's very basic editing. It's just black and white. So I really just wanted this to be, you know, like in France, you have this cinema verite, meaning like very pure extract, not, not too much, so not too many fantasies or so on. So I will not need to use the AI, for example, for this picture. Um, but the idea was really just to show the expression. And this is what interests me the most in photography, to just show, like, take, like, very, very short extracts of an expression happy not happy whatever and then you can guess the history so i'm not gonna tell you the whole history of my family but you can guess and you can imagine that's just the result of a woman that was hurt couldn't speak couldn't had no one to listen to her and then yeah the work is yours yeah i don't know if it replies to your question if you have any question yes yes of course uh i just um I, I find it so interesting because exactly like uh, there are so many ways uh, to create a piece of art. It could be just an instant, as you were saying, um, because the whole story is already there, right? Uh, you just have to have the eye to capture the moment. And I think that's one of the, the most beautiful thing about uh, photographers uh, that they have this, um, I think it's, it's a perception, you know, like it's a, such a so subtle uh, perception of reality yeah. because people are, you know, like we are seeing the same thing. 
Yeah. Like we're not seeing the same, the same thing. Yeah, it's totally the same thing. And that's so nice. And um, just, you know, to um, finish uh, like this uh, thing you were saying, um, so what about you, like uh, like your process? Is there something that, I don't know, like you developed as a, as a photographer that you could say like, um, I don't know, like this kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, knowledge that I, that I obtained or, you know, it doesn't have to be academic or something that the process that you went through that helped you to get that, feeling or that perception, you know, that you share. Yeah, I think I see what you mean. So I never studied photography, but I was like, I don't know um, how old I was, but I was always playing with cameras, but like those old cameras now, taking pictures of flowers and so on. And then I just started to take more and more pictures. And the older I got, the more subjects I could take pictures of. Because when you're a kid, you just like a new little word. And then you have to grow and then you have to face complicated situation. And you remember them, but then you have this wish to just share it. So you were more aware of things. And then, of course, as um, older I got, I discovered other artists, other influences. I was always in the movie field so i watched a lot of movie and buff inspiration inspiration here and here and i kept working i kept kept working with my camera i traveled a lot i met a lot of different people and so i could not really explain the process because it's just very natural i never think like if i do commissions for example then yes i analyze the angles and the composition but when i do street photography or like the portrait to select it mm -hmm. it's just um yeah the idea is just that you forget that I'm here. You should not know that I'm the photographer. It's not about me. It's about your reception. So it's the way that uh, I could describe my picture is more to ask you how you feel about the picture because myself, uh, it's just a proposal, you know? Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, so uh, Natalia, Melia, do you want to share? I think what Chloe said is very is very cool uh, because this is um, uh, there are when you make stage uh, art they they make poses uh, they want to, uh, to express you and it is uh, seriously dull therefore I don't like that much fashion photography uh, yeah because it's false from the beginning to the end and what you are talking about is a kind of real art when you catch a piece of uh, nature, a piece of um, street, uh, a face when it is expressing something significant, and then you make an art from me, from it, meaning that you found something that speaks to you, and you just open the reality. And I think it is really good thing because I started, I returned to art after twenty years of pause. I returned in uh, two twenty. Uh, uh, after 20 years of uh, creative decisions and business, writing, etc. Uh, and I returned um, doing different Buddhist practices. And at some moment, I just felt that I see reality more. And I started to, to see some pictures. Uh, and I thought it's, a str it's strange pictures, partly text, partly picture. I moved to the internet and found that, that what I see is Chinese uh, painting of meanings. It's a very old tradition. I never saw it. I never was acquainted and I wasn't keen on China. Just I, what I felt was better expressed by the pictures uh, which I found in the internet. I started to study Chinese painting of meanings and I thought that what that it, it's a kind of hobby that it will come and go. But after that, I started to make pictures because my uh, uh, line in Chinese painting of meanings appeared to be uh, birds and flowers. They, they, and I started to make pictures of flowers to understand them better. <laughs> like you make pictures of flowers, as you say, uh, too. And photography never was uh, my instrument. And in, in the previous years, when I was young, I, it, it appeared to become my instrument because I understood that photography can catch something from the reality and it can be already art, though it is not drawn. 
And the next uh, moment well, was when I understood that uh, artificial intelligence came. And at first, it was very ugly, <laughs> extremely ugly. <laughs> and I don't like horrors. <laughs> but as a, an, a person from IT, I understood that it is a possibility and will de develop. And I started to play with it about uh, more than a year, year and a half ago. And the tool started to progress very extremely fast. And now you can make uh, whatever picture, drawing, photo, uh, whatever, yeah? I started, uh, when I understood that it's nice, I started to process uh, photography to the moment, digitally process it, to the moment when you can't understand whether I draw it or whether I make a photo because it is processed to the level when it is can be, for instance, uh, a thing which is pictured in a light, in a special light, and you got it like a photo, or it can be absolutely three-dimensional uh, computer animation, for instance, just a sketch. And then I started to use uh, um, artificial intelligence for just creating. And it is very interesting tool because it's both words which are more uh, about uh, logical thinking and it's both images. I write words, uh, artificial intelligence gives me images. I say, no, that's not what I wanted. I change words. So we are talking with each other and the result is a result of cooperation. Mm -hmm. We are thinking together with artificial intelligence. And I guess this is the best way to use it because when you try to get from it things that you can get with photo, photo camera, it's stupid to take a photo camera and do it, yeah? If it, you try to, to uh, use artificial intelligence to make something from the previous epochs, uh, it's stupid. You need to do something more uh, because, uh, well, when you have Terminator talk with him and do something with him, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you have a human do something with human, so it's a really interesting joy. What I, the the art that I gave you, uh, it is called uh, um, the scream of uh, grief and pain of Earth, because I am biosphere centrist and I care very much about the planet. And during the last fifteen years, I'm seriously involved in the problem that uh, we are killing the planet. And I'm also an art therapist, so I work with people. And I understand that uh, these methodics connected with the biosphere, they can heal people uh, uh, seriously uh, from psychosomatics, for instance. Yes, and this scream is about scream inside us as women, because we are more sensitive to nature and to what happens with it. And it is also the scream of the nature with which we are as women more connected with than men and then those people who are not artists and not so sensitive. So there are two parts, the upper part with, which is anger and the down part which is grief. Because I understood that it is the, the message of the planet, the same and the message of pain when uh, Chloe told about her mother, it is also has uh, two parts, aggression and depression. And when planet uh, makes flows of water, I understand that she's crying. And when you get uh, these fires everywhere, uh, that is an anger of the planet. And I try to express both because planet feels both, because it is interconnected with us. So I was speaking about on that, and really I was very glad that uh, artificial intelligence allows me to make very plastic things. Uh, concerning you spoke about uh, performance, I wanted to do performance, though I never did. I was an educator, I understand how to work with public, but I never did performance as performance. And I'm thinking these days about how to make performance from what I'm doing. So if you will contact me personally, I would like to discuss with you and share my experience and ask you for performance because I really wanted to make an application for an open call during the, the next day. <laughs> if it is possible, <laughs> write me something about performance because I really would like to make these uh, still images 
uh, being alive and coming out of the stream to uh, speak to people and uh, give in, uh, take information from people. But I don't understand the essence of performance now. And uh, what we are doing now is a kind of performance. Uh, education is a kind of performance, our therapy a kind of performance. But there is a difference when you move and say, this is not education, this is not information, this is not media, this is art. And I am, well, one step from that, and I would really like to collaborate concerning this performative movement from still pictures or from series of pictures. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's what this is about, um, you know, like creating collaboration. And I think uh, one of the things that uh, I, I I kept thinking while, while you were saying is, what is the what is the role of the artist exactly like with in, in um, artificial intelligence, right? Because as you were saying, is a communication, and that's a very interesting way of seeing it. Um, and at the same time, like I, I feel we are, at least myself, um, I feel a little reluctant with working with a, a artificial intelligence because I feel that is not like really made with my ideas you know like that's the thing it's like i i tell the the ai something and then it creates something for me you know like that that is an idea that it's kind of hard to work with but it's kind of the same thing in a way of like exactly like oh i want to i don't know this type of choreography and you say to a choreographer and then they do a choreography and you say, oh, okay, so let's change this and let's change that. It's a collaboration, as you were saying. But the thing is, here is that the information that the AI has is something so, you know, so general in a way that is like, what are the influences of this artificial intelligence? You know, like, what are their references? Because they have references from many things like, you know, um, things that we might appreciate and things we might not, uh, things we might agree or things that we might not. So how do you work with, with the being <laughs> that you don't know, um, like, what is it coming from? You know, like, where does this reference come from? Like, I feel it's kind of scary, <laughs> you know, so, I wanted to, you know, uh, just um, for you to just tell me a little bit more about it, not go like so deep because we don't have that much of time, but um, you know, how, how do you work with something that you don't really know? When you make performance, for instance, in a wood, wood can be scaring, it can be dangerous, but the same, uh, and it has lots of information which you don't control. And very much of that you don't understand even. If you make a performance with a lion, this is very dangerous thing also. But if you are start to call, communicate and collaborate with it, you can first understand, choose the part you want to deal with, uh, artificial intelligence is very cooperative. You change one word and you get uh, absolutely another picture. Certainly, there could be things, for instance, if the references are very ugly, dirty, and uh, abusive, etc., you get bad pictures and you say, I don't want this, and you get out of this uh, instrument because there are very many um, tools and programs of uh, artificial intelligence and when i started to choose i chose from a very wide uh, lineage of uh, of, of, of uh, uh, tools and i chose the one which was evidently nice i you see when you write that the pictures are nice they are happy they are positive etc so you understand what kind of people and what kind of information were there though you can make something ugly. Second, it is a, a, an issue of uh, mastering the skills. 
when I am coming to make a performance and I can't uh, move my body, uh, it's an ugly performance, it's non-professional, it's not interesting. When Maya Plisetska comes and makes performance, she is a beautiful ballerina, it's a beautiful belly, everything, everybody is happy, you know, though uh, it's a kind of the same body. I just can, I mastered it much less than she, and I'm not less talented in that. The same uh, when Chloe uses photo, photo uh, camera, it is a very advanced apparatus, very, very advanced. And she doesn't know very many things that appear there including artificial intelligence that, that is already in the most part of even smartphones uh, or cameras in your smartphones. So it's first, uh, choose the tool which makes you happy, master your skills uh, in cooperation with it, and choose uh, art allows you to choose intuitively and emotionally. Choose the thing that makes you happy and that will make happy your clients or your public or whatever. Do you understand? Yeah, yes, I think I think I'm beginning to understand. It's very interesting. Uh, I think it has to do a lot with language too, which is very, um, very nice way of seeing it. Like talking uh, a new language almost, right? Um, but let's uh, let's go. Um, Amelia, Amelia, Amelia. Amelia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to hear you a little bit. Oh, yeah. Speaking yeah. Portuguese, French. English. Um... Ah, oui, je, euh, je, ça y est en anglais pour parce que c'est important pour. You can do quite a performance. Tu as besoin de faire ça. Je suis contente de faire ça. Okay. Um, I a little bit of French, but you know, like ah, I'm oui. gonna try to translate everything later. Je ça y est en anglais. Hein? Voilà. My inspiration. Uh, my inspiration comes from, from my personal experience. I was a art teacher in, in school, Loctad, Loctad and Favela, and also in high secret jail. Uh, I grew up as, uh, in a very poor district of Rio in the I was confronted with the racism, to racism and the machism very young. It gave me strength for fighting these problems, and it was an inspiration. And it was an inspiration. Okay, voilà. Et pour ça, pour because my terms uh, are a pain, especially, especially pain uh, irritated from slavery, memory, vulnerable, vulnerable peoples. I voilà. it was. I I work in a prison. Je ne sais pas si en français. Je ne sais pas si je ne sais pas plus qui qui je parle. Je parle portugais, anglais, je ne sais pas. Mais j'ai travaillé en prison uh, pour dix ans et j'ai pour ça j'ai commencé à penser tout tout le moment sur Comme se passe les, les gens qui, et, qui restent en prison. Après, quand j'ai arrivé ici, euh, je suis immigrée, immigrée sans papier, elle commence. Et voilà, parce que pour plusieurs motifs, et voilà. Pour, et et c'est une chose très forte pour moi. Et tous les gens qui voyagent pour, pour réussir quelque chose en Europe, en France, en Espagne, en tous les, les continents européens. Et voilà, ils se passent à la mer. C'est ça et pour vivre bien, mais ce n'est pas possible. Donc, euh, je fais le, et je participe à une exposition qui parle sur la libération, sur la liberté. Et je pensais sur 
comme je peux parler de sur la liberté sans qui sans 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 être une chose très naïf mais que je peux parler de liberté juste pas pour moi mais pour tous et voilà j'ai pensé que la liberté n'est pas juste pour moi la liberté c'est pour tous c'est ma liberté dépense de, de la liberté de l'autre et cet moment quand j'ai arrivé ici c'est le moment de covid et tous les gens sont fermés à sa maison c'est très difficile c'est ensemble c'est la, la covid et la immigration la la gens qui ont besoin de, de vivre une place mieux, un pays meilleur. Et j'ai pensé comme ça, j'ai pensé que, la, que ma, ma, ma performance a besoin de toucher les autres. Donc, je me fermé à les barbelés, parce que les barbelés sont un, un matériel qui s'est créé aux États-Unis pour casser les, les vaches, pour penser la, la, la situation financière des de les fermiers, fermiers ou des de champs, pour les gens qui, qui voient les, les vaches, les, les animaux. Et après, j'ai utilisé le l'homme, c'est changé tout le, complètement, et utilisé la, les barbelés sur les, la guerre, les, la trinchée, la tranchée de guerre, pour, pour éviter que l'autre se, se combatte, hein, c'est fou. Et après, aujourd'hui, aujourd c'est le mur pour que quelqu'un ne sorte pas, ou que quelqu'un n'entre pas. Et aujourd'hui aussi, à la prison, tout, les murs c'est plein de barbelés. Et voilà. Et, un, un, et le mur d'Europe, de, de, des États-Unis, de toutes les places, je pense tout le temps à, à passer la liberté, mais qui commence justement comme une chose pour, pour faire l'attention à l'animal, pour prendre plus du pas de l'animal, mais qui change complètement pour la tête de l'homme. Voilà. Donc, barbelé aujourd'hui, c'est pour éviter faire que les gens n'entrent pas dans un pays, dans un pays riche. Et, et je pense à tout ça quand j'arrive ici. Et après, je me suis euh, avec les barbelés dans mon corps et laisse que les gens, les personnes, les, les gens qui me voient, Passer le barbelé et me liberté, me liberté, pour, me liberté, pour continuer à marcher. Je suis une femme, je suis noire, une femme noire. Et tous les gens qui me regardent, j'ai la même volonté que les gens prennent l'attention sur ça, sur la liberté, ne juste pas pour les femmes, mais pour tous. Et que tout, tous sont eh, responsables pour ça. Donc, je reste immobile, je ne parle pas, et je me laisse pour le temps que le public commence à couper. Je, la, je laisse aussi les pinces, et voilà, il les gants pour utiliser les pinces, pour, utiliser, pour prendre les barbelés, pas toucher, c'est pas mal. Ouais, faire maladie ou, euh, qui, qui pense, là, qui prend le pense, qui le touche, ou, qui le casse. Et voilà, c'est ça. Et c'est compliqué parce que c'est pas si... Il est, dépend de la place, dépend de les lieux. En Venise, c'est pas vite. Ici, c'est un petit peu vite. 5, 10 minutes, mais il y a un moment qu'il a 10 minutes que tous les gens ne font rien, regardent et ne font rien. Comme une personne peut regarder un gens 
uma fome, pode por quase eu sou no ar, posso que eu sou uma fome, posso que eu sou um man, um man, um nome, uma fome, não pode rester é, em volta avec um barbelé, sem por se si, 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 eu tombe, se si, eu sou tombé por le sol, eu me cassei tudo por meu corpo. J'ai cassé, blessé tout le corps. Donc, euh, et même comme ça, les adultes, pas d'enfants, pas d'ados, adolescents, mais les adultes restent euh, avec le père, avec les, un petit pot de vergogne, je ne sais pas, honte, un petit peu honte, ah, je ne sais pas, mais je, je vois là-bas pour casser les, les, les barbelés, non, pas du tout, je ne peux faire ça, ah, je sais qu'elle a besoin d'aide, mais, ah, mais je sais, ah, je, je, et, et, il se passe comme ça à la galerie, et c'est fou, c'est fou, et je, je peux essayer un moment qui en coupe, un couple, il est parti directement de me demander, je ne peux parler parce que la performance ne me laisse pas parler, je, la composition de performance que j'ai pensé, je ne me parle pas, je parle juste quand la personne cassée, je dis eh, au vrai, je dis merci beaucoup madame, merci beaucoup monsieur, c'est ça que je pense pour dire, mais ils, ils sont, les couples, c'est très énervé, il m'a dit, hein, je peux faire ça, je peux euh, ouvrir ton, ton barbelé, je peux, et je dis, je ne peux dire, hein, mais c'est un moment très, très, une situation fou, parce que plusieurs de gens, plein de gens, plein de gens, et elle me demande, la, madame me demande, et le moment que je dis, ah oui, <rire> oui, et elle commence sans arrêter, il y a il dit, mais c'est fou, hein? les gens sont sédérés, faire les photos, faire les vidéos, comme ça, pense, 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 c'est ça, hein? tu fais les photos, vidéos, une femme comme ça, elle a très, très, avec Babélé, son corps. Et ils sont très énervés avec le public, hein? c'est fou, mais c'est la, la, comme je pense aussi, parce que si je veux, je, je parti à la direction de la femme pour aider, hein? mais non, je suis derrière, faire les photos, faire les vidéos, je euh, manque de faire les pauses, il m'a dit, et j'ai dit, fais une photo avec elle, mais c'est fou, parce que ce n'est pas ça, c'est la liberté que je parle, c'est la... Qu'est-ce que tu fais quand tu veux une personne comme ça? Hein? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Et elle, elle est très énervée, elle est aussi, elle casse tout rapidement. En deux minutes, elle, tous les barbelés, c'est. Et les gens qui font les vidéos, photos, ils disent Mais ces couples ne donnaient pas la chance pour je faire quelque chose. Hein? Il les fait tout, hein? mais non. Il a dit, mais non, comment le, comme je, comme que le public peut rester, regarde, mais ne fait pas rien, et c'est fou. Et voilà, je fais supplier, c'est ça. C'est une chose pour dire de, sur la liberté, sur les, sur les ce, ce, ce sentiments que les gens, les sens des gens, de, de tous, pour faire, euh, la, ne pas juste la manutention, sur la manutention, mais c'est faire aussi la force, la force pour que tout nous permette et, et, et réussir la liberté. Ce n'est pas juste Amélia qui fait la disposition, mais c'est tout, hein? c'est un travail de, de tout nous des femmes, des enfants, des ados, des, des vieux, de tous. Voilà. C'est pour ça que j'ai... Merci beaucoup. Quelle performance Yeah, I'm so sorry to cut you, but uh, we will have uh, another uh, conversation in 10 minutes, so uh, I will need to uh, finish this one, but 
It was so amazing, uh, exactly as Natalia was saying. This was a whole performance that you were doing. <laughs> so it was amazing. Uh, I think um, I there were some things that I didn't understand. I'm gonna translate it for you know the audience to understand what you were saying. Um, at some point, I wanted you to speak in Portuguese, but you were so like in the flow that I said, okay, just let her. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, um, just uh, finish, like, uh, as you were saying about, uh, you know, like the, the audience that doesn't know what to do, like, we're going to see your performance in the video to, uh, tomorrow, so everyone's going to understand what you were saying. Um, that is about, like, when you see a performance and you don't know if you should interact or not, if you should take a step, if you should take action, right? Because that's that's us, like all the time. Should I take action? Should I take side? Um, and that's very interesting that you were, you know, showing because it's this, you know, like even if it's a small thing, um, I think we should, you know, do something. Um, like for example, as I was saying, like there are many ways to scream, right? Like Chloe is screaming her way, Natalia is screaming her way. Amelia is doing it her way and I'm screaming my way. This is our way of, you know, saying the things that we want to say, even if it's small, even if it's, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it, what matters is we are taking action. Um, and I think nothing is less or more than another thing, you know, like if we were doing with our hearts, with our souls and that, you know, like if it um, comes from a, from a deep, uh, sense of wanting to do something for the world i think it, it matters so um yeah i i'm i wanted to like keep talking for so much uh but uh please let's keep in touch um just briefly like if you could just say if there's a instagram or page that people can follow you um please uh just say that and then we're gonna close here but this is just the beginning Thank you so much for being here. So just your social networks. Okay, okay. Uh, about conduct, uh, I, Chloe, uh, I have some connections with French line of art, and I would really like to be in contact. Uh, I don't know uh, what is the best way to give the contact because uh, Instagram is blocked in Russia, Facebook is blocked. Email, in Russia. Email, um, email, I can send you an email, uh, uh, or I can take your email. Or you okay. can send. Could you please send me your email? Uh, email of of Floya. Or it oh, is this, is, uh, this is uh, for. I'm sorry. It's just uh, for people who were watching this video. Yeah. Just say your name and one form of contact. Just this. Okay. About me, my formal contact. Uh, the the easiest way. Uh, I am a part of the Hug community. H U G. Uh, uh, community and you write there Natalia Garber and you find me there and you can follow there and write there or you can write to Anne Garber uh, 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 the mail room and that is it, that is it. okay um, me I have Instagram for example so Chloe Marshall C-H-L-O-E-M-A-R-C-H-L -E seven my favorite mm -hmm. number if you want to check my website, it's the same, chloemarchal.fr. And I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, my Instagram, I hope as, um, I'm Amelia Sampaio. I'm a L E A S A N P I O. Set trees. My own site, uh, ameliasampaio.com. FR. Okay. okay perfect thank you so so much and uh let's keep talking and keep sharing and um thank you so much for being here thank, thank you very much thank you very much goodbye